Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this pricing table from scratch. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to set everything up and we created a project and we have created the index.html, style.css and the JavaScript file. And we have set everything up, we have linked all those files over here. And we have even added the colors as CSS variables over here. Now in this video, I'll show you how to write the HTML for our design. So let's get started. Now first of all, we have this heading and then we have this switch. So let's go back to our HTML. And uh, we will start by creating a container division. So we'll create a division and we'll give it a class of pricing table container. So since I have Emmet installed in VS Code, you can directly type dot and class name over here. And if you press tab, you will have a division with that class name. All right, so in this container division, we will have all the other elements. So first of all, for the heading and for this switch, we will create another division. So we'll just give it a class of pricing header and in that we'll have an h2 and uh, in the h2 we will type please choose a plan below. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. So I can directly right click over here and click on open with live server. And here we can see our progress as of now we have this h2. Alright, so now let's create the switch. Now for the switch, we will have a container division. So this is the switch. We have monthly and yearly displayed over here. So let's go ahead and create a division with a class of plans switch container. And for the switch, we'll be using a checkbox. So let's type input. And for the type, we will have checkbox. And we'll also give it a class of plans switch. You can name these classes anything you want, but you have to access the same classes in the CSS when you style it. All right, now if you go back to our design, we can see that we have this checkbox over here. We can turn it on and turn it off. Now for monthly and yearly, we will have two spans. So we'll just type span and for the monthly, we will have a class of monthly and we'll just type monthly over here. And I'll just duplicate this line of code by pressing shift alt and down arrow. And uh, for monthly, we will type yearly. And even here we'll type yearly. Right now here we can see we have this checkbox and then we have monthly and yearly. Now using CSS, we'll just hide this checkbox and uh, we will style it exactly like this. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, write the HTML for the other elements. Right, so now the next thing we need to have are these three plans. So let's go ahead and uh, create a container division for that. So I'll go outside this pricing header division and we'll create one more division with a class of pricing table. Now in this we will have the three plans. Now for each of the plans we'll have a division with a class of table. And in that we need to have this content and we also need to have this image right here. So we'll have a container division for all this content and then we'll just add this image outside the division. So we'll create a division with a class of content. And the first thing we need to have is this heading. So we'll have an S3 for that and we'll just type basic. And the next we need to have the price. So for the price, we will have a container division. So we'll just have a division with a class of price container. And in that we'll have a span. And for the span, we'll give it a class of price and we'll just type $49. And then we need to have the text per month. So for that, we'll have one more span. So we'll just create a span and uh, in this we'll type forward slash month. So here we can see we have $49 per month. Now we are using span over here instead of division because uh, we need to have all of these in a single line. If we have a division instead of span, then 49 will be on one line and per month will be on the other line. So that's why we are using span. And uh, next we have the description of the plan. So I'll just copy this from here. 
and uh, for the description we will create a division with the class of description and I'll just paste the line over here so here we have the description and uh, next we need to have the features now for the features we will have an unordered list so let's go ahead and create a UL and we'll also give it a class of features we'll have three list items one is 15 files then we have 10 GB storage and email support so let's type that over here 15 files duplicate this and uh, 10 GB storage and email support All right, the features have been added now we need to add this button right here so for the button we will just have an anchor tag and we'll style it in a way that it looks like a button so we'll have an anchor tag and for the href I'll just type hash for now and here we'll type choose plan and for the anchor tag we will have a class and we'll just call it btn and now outside this content division so this division right here now outside that we will have the image for the background shape so this image right here so let's type img and uh, let's type images slash and the image was saved as bg shape one dot svg so let's select that over here now let's go back to our uh, web page and here we can see everything is uh, being displayed over here so we also have this image right here now the next plan we have is this best value plan over here so let's go ahead and uh, I'll just copy this from here so I'll just copy this whole division with a class of table and we'll paste it down here before that I will just add a comment so I'll just press control and forward slash and I'll just type end of basic plan and I'll just paste it over here now for the best value plan we need to have a different styling as well so I'll just add one more class over here I'll just type best value and we also need to have this text best value displayed over here so here I'll just have a span with a class of value and I'll just type best value over here and then we have the content so I'll just change these details over here instead of basic we'll just type professional and price container will have $99 per month and we'll update the description so I'll just copy this from here and paste it over here and I will just update the features so unlimited files and 25 GB storage and we also have phone support and then we have the choose plan button and uh, for this we will have the other image that we exported so it is called BG shape 2 now let's add a comment over here and I will just type end of professional plan and I'll just copy this uh, basic plan once more so this is the last plan over here which is the business plan so let's just update the details so here instead of basic we will type business and uh, the price will be 149 and I'll just copy this description and paste it over here and unlimited files unlimited storage and then we have the image which is PG shape one so that's basically it with the markup of our pricing table design let's go back to our web page and uh, we have all the elements over here the basic plan the professional plan and the business plan all right so that's it for this video in the next video we will style this using CSS and we'll try to make it look exactly like this so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day